all right so you guys are going to see this before because i'm batch creating so it's going to look like the same video but i did want to go ahead and do another video really quick on how to buy a house with little to no down payment or little to no closing costs down payment assistance there's a couple options here in Texas. There's a, there's a lot of programs actually. So you have like the Harris County and the Houston down payment assistance programs, which are programs through like the city and the county, like I said. And those are for more like low income folks, like really, really low income. I will, all the down payment assistance programs that I'm speaking of, I'm gonna put links to them in the description. Or if you just wanna chat about it, my Instagram is Amia the Realtor, or you can find me at Amia Wilson on Facebook, and then I can run down some tips and tricks for you, or we can figure out a plan for you. They're about 580 credit. Um, you can't have more than a certain amount on your bank account, and they require you to put at least $1,000 towards the buying the house. How long? that lien is on your house depends on how much money they give you so the less money they give you i believe you have to stay in that house really five years and if they give you a lot more then you have to stay in the house 10 years there's other programs where um, there's a new down payment assistance program with one lender that i work with that starts at 580 and i believe it's 10 year lien also so you would have to stay in that house and you can't refinance for 10 years that they pay your down payment now there's the other ones that i feel are a little bit more known and more popular which is t shack which is for um first time home buyers and teachers and here what they would consider like texas heroes firefighters police people and um that one starts at 620 credit they usually have a little bit higher of an interest rate but it can be a fha loan a conventional loan there's another one called tdhca and that one starts at 640 credit and i believe they go up to four percent as well t shack also goes up to four percent then there's um two different seth or seth programs and those are for like the southern more southern parts of texas i believe now a lot of the programs that i mentioned besides the first two that i said were for low income their income max goes up to like a hundred a hundred and forty thousand dollars a year just depending on what program that you're using be your max income that you can get with those programs now how you go to the closing table with little to nothing is you get one of those programs you get a down payment assistance program right and you get whichever one that you qualify for so you know if your credit is a bit on the lower side then you're going to have to get the one that's about 580 and you typically will have a higher interest rate or you'll have a second mortgage or you just have a lien on your house it depends on the program You'll get one of those and you'll try and get um, as much as you can, 0.5% like FHA does. Then you'll try and get down payment assistance for 3.5% or 4% because then it'll cover even more. Now, with having your down payment covered, a lot of people don't know you still will have closing costs. So you still have to pay for your appraisal, your like survey. You'll have upfront costs and you'll have closing costs. So you'll still have to pay for your earnest money and your option fee. I have a video on expenses um that you should know about you'll still have those upfront costs you'll still have your appraisal your inspection your survey if you need one you'll still have all of those things and then you'll also have like you know your lender fees and all those things so you'll still have your upfront costs and you'll still have some closing costs a good rule of thumb for closing costs is to do three percent of the sales price now to combat that because like i said okay now you have your down payment to cover but you still have closing costs to try and offset that so you can go to the table with zero or as little as possible is to request seller concessions now with seller concessions it depends on the seller they're either going to be nice and give it to you or they're not you can request three percent to try and cover all of your closing costs or you can just try and get as much as possible so if you know your closing cost is going to be around five thousand dollars you can try and ask for half of that or you can try and ask for the whole thing some sellers are nice they will give you the whole thing and that way you have your down payment assistance covered and you have your um you have your down payment assistance covering your down payment and now you have seller concessions to cover your closing costs and then a good thing also is that when you do your earnest money in texas that is applied to your closing costs as long as you don't breach contract that is how I would recommend going to the table with zero to nothing. There's down payment assistance programs, um, more into depth about those. So if you do want more information exactly about the down payment assistance programs in Texas, please just reach out to me because each one has different information and each lender is different. So I don't want to steer you wrong. And I can, this video would be an hour long if I talk about each single down payment assistance programs. But yeah, the ones that I feel like are most popular would be the T-Shack, the TDHC, the Seth programs, 
and the Harris County and Houston down payment assistance programs. So yeah, in summary, if you skip to the end of my video, so I'm just gonna do a start doing a summary and summary to go to the table with little to nothing, get down payment assistance, qualify for down payment assistance, get down payment assistance, and request seller concessions so that they cover your closing costs. And that way you could buy a house either keep your savings account to go into the house once you move in or if you don't have a lot of money but you still want to purchase a house then that is how you could do it now some warnings that i do want to throw in there when you do get down payment assistance you do get a higher interest rate usually because they have to you know make money some way somehow you do want to make sure that you're paying attention to that if you're able to put your own down payment down and then that would be ideal because you'll likely get a lower interest rate and the higher you can get your credit the lower your interest rate will be as well but if you know that you're in a situation where you want to buy and you don't have the best credit and you don't have the best funds then that is the way that you can do it is down payment assistance and seller concessions seller concessions won't affect your interest rate or anything like that so if you know that you can cover it then i wouldn't like stress about it but i would still ask for it because you never know you might get it and then that way you can keep your funds and get yourself some furniture after you close do not buy anything until your loan is closed and funded okay do not do that but yeah that's how you can go to the table a little later but then if you have any more questions or i missed some topics or i ran over something too fast please let me know in the comments below or like i said reach out to me and i'll be happy to answer your questions bye